My name's Kate Winslet. I wanted to make this videotape in order to tell something about myself. So I was a mother and I wanted to be a choreographer and dancer. The next thing that came up was uh, I was a school teacher because my daughter was growing up and so I was being asked to do, teach all of these different art forms that went along with the social studies. That became a kind of a theme of my life, to become a teacher, because it's much harder to be a dancer choreographer. I, I was for a while. Um, but then that got transformed into uh, writing plays from oral history, creating choreographies with children, um, and in the meantime, I was really studying children's way of transforming their energy. So folk, folklore, children's folklore, became another theme in my life, and I created the children's area of the Festival of American Folk Life. Um, I went on to teach Indian education in Pembroke, North Carolina, and I also did a piece of work for the Smithsonian for the Aditi exhibition that took me to India to study Indian folklore and folk life. And then I taught that to the Lumbi Indian children. In the meantime, for five summers, I also was a member of the Bread and Puppet Theater Company in Vermont. We were producing uh, circuses, pageants, uh, nighttime oratorios, and uh, smaller puppet shows for the Midway for the summers in Vermont. And I totally love the work of Peter Schumann, who has spread his puppeteering all over the world as part of social movements. So I did the children's area of the Festival of American Folklife. The reason I got to do that was because Ralph Rinsler, my husband, was the director and founder of that festival and was the director for 17 years. Um, so I had the magic experience of seeing people from all over the world coming to share their folklore and folklife music, dance. I had, um, starting in the late 90s, um, I had four years of training in body-mind centering with Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen and the people that she had trained. And that was a major time when my mind was being shifted from the traditional model of medicine that I was brought up with to energy models um, and treating my body completely differently as though I had an interaction with it and that my thoughts affected it and, um, and that the history of you know my relationships with other people resided in my body and that things could be healed from uh, what I thought was my past and that there's this permeability between past, present and future and, and there's a huge amount of malleability even in terms of affecting the genes um, by how they manifest and so forth depending on how you think about it and what you do about what you think well, everywhere you look, people are saying that cancer is a teacher. And um, so you should interest yourself in that process and see where it leads you. I had decided I was not going to take any more um, allopathic medicine for the cancer. Chemotherapy can extend your life, but you have to be careful that what you're doing with it is not completely destroying your quality of life. Finding the, the best systems uh, for you at that time or whatever um, 
exploring what's out in the world is part of the adventure of having cancer. Art is a teacher for me. It gives me um, a sense of interacting with the world and, and um, having something speak back to me. And that's always fun. I can sit in my room full of batiks, my own batiks, and be carried away with what I feel is the energy and beauty of what I've done. In a world which is crashing down around me, in which terrible things are happening to nature, it's maintaining the energy connection with um, Mother Earth. I was in the midst of studying body-mind centering when, uh, when I started batiki. I mean, really, seriously batiki. Um, and I also had already been diagnosed with cancer and had a mastectomy and had been through some therapies and stuff. The idea that the cancer is a teacher is out there in a lot of the literature. Mm -hmm. I mean, written by doctors who have worked with meditation and guided imagery and um, all the ways in which people learn to become comfortable with their cancer, um, that it is a teacher that, if it leads you to clearing uh, emotional blockages and, um, you know, trauma and stuff from your past. It's really a teacher because it leads you to do things you never would have thought of doing if you thought you were in a more normal state of being or something like that. As a person who considered myself never to be a visual artist, I drew pictures of the kids that I taught. I drew pictures of Bread and Puppet Theater when I was there for five summers. I mean, I know I can draw when I'm inspired by something that I'm really in love with. I can draw. But I, there was no medium that attracted me except batiking because it has this will of its own which is just, it doesn't look like any other technique. It's, other techniques are built around, uh, at least some of them are, control. The wax and the dye are very um, powerful um, allies. They're not just allies, they're teachers. Um, because you can't control the wax. You can develop a relationship with the flow of hot wax. And you can become aware of just how hot it has to be in order to be able to do what you want. And if you haven't learned that yet, you will find what it won't do and what you, how you can play with that. Oh, I just love what it does. All of these batiks, uh, that I've created uh, since I was 60 are all done um, with an awareness of invoking chi, uh, invoking uh, the energy that flows along your meridians and, and has a connection um, with the universe, with nature, and so forth. So, uh, I would not work on a batik unless I had already engaged uh, my, my connection with my energetic system. And they're, they're contemplative. They're, they're works for contemplation, for, I don't know sitting in the presence of and writing poetry or mm. um, hanging out with your friends or something like that. Mm. Um, and, uh, and they bring energy in, uh, the prints of the batiks bring energy into people's offices, you know, and, uh, and transform rooms. 
But that's what people have told me. <laughs>